blood, texture. Blood? <laughs> <laughs> a heartbeat? <laughs> I think of the texture. A pulse at some point? It Today I'm meeting up with my cousin and his fiance now. And they wanted to try this place called Be Good in Temecula, so I don't know anything about it. I didn't look it up or anything like that, so let's be surprised together, guys. Oh, also, there's like a crap ton of fires everywhere, so like the sky's covered in ash and the sun's like bloodshot red. Look at this, I'll show you. Two hours later. It's a chorizo. What was it? Oh, it's Bordobello chorizo thing. It's real good. Real spicy. Not at all. I can tell you. Said it wasn't spicy. I thought it was spicy. But it was really good. So I'm thinking about getting a chorizo bacon burger because it was really good. Impossible meat taco, street tacos. So we'll see if they live up to regular carne asada. Definitely doesn't taste like carne asada. That's for sure. Is it good though? Yeah. Okay. It definitely passes as meat for sure. Like if you didn't know, you would think that that was meat, but it's like I definitely can tell it's not carne asada. Oh, okay. I would assume it's ground beef. Okay, but you think it's meat? Yeah, no. definitely. It has a meat taste to it. But yeah, it's good. Let me see it. We just finished grubbing there. It's, it got real, a lot later. It took forever to sit there. I got the battered shrimp. That was really good. Um, I got the portobello chorizo okay. uh, appetizer. That thing was really good. My tacos were, you know, for what they were, I thought I'd try them out. I could have gotten regular chicken or carne asada, but I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try the Beyond Meat. And it was, you know, Beyond Meat. <laughs> if the doctor told you you had to eat that for the rest of your life, could you do it? What about it was bad? It was great. I just don't, I don't like that you have to pay so much money for something that's okay. Is it more expensive? Yeah, if you go to, yeah, vegan shops are more expensive. It looks like ground beef. So when I put it in my mouth and I ate it, it wasn't ground beef. <laughs> so I just didn't like it, it just wasn't for me. I get that, I just can't. I think it mimics meat really well, but it's missing something for sure. Like, I, I think it's just the yeah, texture. Blood? blood. <laughs> <laughs> a heartbeat? <laughs> I think of the texture. Oh, at some point. It doesn't completely mimic the texture. I think the ground beef one did. Uh, there was this, they would do a better job if they did, like how you said, with mushrooms. Mushrooms can taste like anything you want. Definitely. This one was more like bean. Like it yeah, used it like bean. It tasted really beany. <laughs> For lack of a better word. Yeah, I guess. Maybe you okay. know it's not carne asada, but do you That's think be it's my, not meat? That would be my first thing. I'd be like, okay, is this supposed to be carne asada? And if they say no, then I'd be like, okay, well then this is definitely ground beef. Yeah, I definitely, to me, it, it, it can pull off meat for sure. It's you know fully. what? I'll say they have great service. Yeah, I, I can say that. I can agree the service was pretty good, except they refilled my Arnold Palmer with water, and my cup was the only red one. I to fool you with another red cup. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're missing a big part of it. The biggest selling point for that restaurant is it's like themes that it does on, the, on specific days. It has like, you know, pirate food. We didn't get to experience that today. They're not doing that because of the COVID stuff and you can't really eat inside. So we get it. I'll probably stop by again and do something more in depth when they have that feature open and we can experience the restaurant for what it's supposed to be because it's literally in the name. Like it's food and the experience. So we'll have to try it again later.